from Anaheim, California. I have a full spread here of oatmeal and a little pastry, juice and yogurt. And Brennan's got a happy little piece of toast. All right, we are ready to go now after having a delicious breakfast. You can see that we are on Harbor Boulevard, which means right down the street is Disneyland. All right, we are nearing Disney now. You can see through the trees. I think that is, uh, is that California Adventure? Or California, California Screaming? Yep. Cool. Here's all the Star Wars stuff, I think. Is it? I think it is. Cause it looked like we were behind Big Thunder Mountain. I don't know why I said it like that. Ooh, look at all these cars. Oh. Everybody's coming to Disneyland today. That's okay though. We'll share it. So that's super cool. You can see the uh, Star Wars construction over there. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. That's what we drove by earlier. And now we are walking to the tram we parked in Goofy today. Hey, Brennan. You excited about today? I am. Yay. I know, right? It's a little bit bizarre to me that they have a parking structure here. Because we're used to open parking structures at our Disney parks. Alright, once again, for your safety, please keep all hands, arms, legs, and all loose items inside this chapter. Be sure, please do not close the door or door handles. Thank you. Do you see it? See what? Over there. Disneyland? Disneyland? Disneyland. Way over there, there's California Adventure, but Brennan and I are over here for our big day at Disneyland Park. You excited? Yes. So, what's it feel like to be back? I'm so to be back. I actually like, I know we were just complaining about like that it's a little bit hot, but I'm like happy that it's hot. This is really cold last time we were here. Yeah, it's gonna be cold tonight probably. Show me your uh, your ticket. Who do you have on there? Oh, Mickey and friends. And then I have uh, cars. Look at this. Oh my god. Minnie Mouse and that little girl have matching outfits. Isn't that adorable? I almost cried a little bit. All right, that took all of about two minutes to set up Max Pass, and we already have Indiana Jones for about half an hour from now. You ready for some Indiana Jones? I'm ready! Yeah, that was so cool. That was so easy. It's not free like it is back home, but still pretty convenient. For $10, it's really worth it. Yeah. Minnie Mouse is just having so much fun over there. I know. I aspire to be her. You want to be Minnie Mouse? Here we are, Main Street. In Disneyland, you can see Sleeping Beauty's castle all the way down to the end of the road. You can kind of see it, am I right? <laughs> so, Vernon. Yes. What do you want to do before Indiana Jones? Are you hungry or I don't know? I don't know. I'm kind of hungry. Are you? Yeah. You want to go to French Quarter yes. and uh, grab some stuff? Let's get some food. Well, it's not French Quarter. It's New Orleans, right? I think it's the French Quarter. New Orleans Square, I think, yes. but styled after the French Quarter. <laughs> Oh, somebody just proposed. Yeah. So we're standing in front of the castle here, Sleeping Beauty's castle, trying to find this ride here called the Seven Dwarves Mine Train. Also, can't find this place called Storybook Circus. I don't know, there's just a lot of stuff is off about this, this map here comparatively to this park. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, kind of a little bit of a change of a plan. We were gonna go eat lunch, but I think we're gonna go do Indiana Jones now because we saw the, the marching show with the band just then. So we're gonna cute. do Indiana Jones and then we can get another fast pass after we do it. You can't let me walk alone. I'm sorry, it's a little bit busy, isn't it? Grab some lunch. Are you hungry? Yes. You're always hungry. Yeah. All right, we made it to New Orleans Square. Time to have some delicious lunch. Do you want to eat where we ate last time? Uh, sure. We were looking at Cafe Orleans, but I think it's a little bit pricey, and it's also a sit-down restaurant. Over here, though, at the uh, French Market, this is where we ate last time. They have a uh, shrimp po' boys and a lot of stuff that's probably a little bit less expensive and a good thing just to do for our first meal. So we're gonna go here. So Brennan's getting this and I think I'm gonna get the creamy corn chowder and a Red Bull. I think this looks like a hidden Mickey. I don't know if that was an intentional decision. You think it was? Everything's intentional. Is this a hidden Mickey? Yep. Nice. It's like corn. So we were over there burning up in the sun, but Brennan found a nice shaded table over here, so we moved over here really quickly. The tables are really popular right now because uh, it's lunchtime. Hey, Brennan. Hey, Roy. So because it was your idea, what are we gonna do now? Well, we have a little bit of time before our next fast pass. It just touched something sticky. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we're gonna take a round trip on the train to see all the new improvements that they've done since the last time that we were here. Uh, and then we're just gonna come back and watch it on the ground. <laughs> To ensure a safe ride, stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your kids. There is the revered Indian shaman, sharing his stories with those in the Great River Valley below.
As we leave Toontown Depot, we get a real nice view of the happiest land of them all, Fantasyland. You can see people stepping onto It's a Small World just below us. And, off in the distance, Majestic Matterhorn Mountain. Mom, this is a circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. We'll be stopping at New Orleans Square, Mickey's Toontown, and Tomorrowland. We'll also visit the Grand Canyon and make a trip back in time to the primeval world and the age of the dinosaurs before returning to Main Street Station. Right over there, there is Tom Sawyer's Island. That's where they do Fantasmic here. So Brennan and I are gonna go do that later. We actually gotta get a fast pass for that. Getting a little bit busy over here in these parts. Hopefully we can navigate safely. All right, we made it over here to Big Thunder Mountain. Somehow, the crowd was kind of crazy, but uh, we have a fast pass at least. Yeah, I need it though. <laughs> This is so similar, yet so different to Disney's Fast Pass system. It's confusing, but it's very familiar. Row one?
So, it was a lot rougher than I remember. What about you? Yeah, I thought it was about the same. About the same? All right, where are we going now, Britton? We are checking out what all of this is back here since it was closed down last time. When we were here last time, this was the Big Thunder Ranch back here, and they closed it down to kind of refurbish it and prepare it for Star Wars Land opening in a couple years. So let's see what it's like. So this right here, I think this was Big Thunder Ranch, right? Yeah. Or the entrance to it was back here. And right now they have the... Uh, the new railroad track above it, like the new diverted kind of turning left that it used to not do, and now it does. And this is going to be, I think, the main entrance to Star Wars Land when it opens. Right back here, there's that giant wooden wall. Huh? Oh, there's a horse. Hi, horse. This is going to be really cool when it opens. It's going to be kind of weird that it's at Disneyland, though. And ours is going to be at Hollywood Studios. But it'll be cool to compare the two once they finally open. All right, now we're heading around this way to Fantasyland and to see, I think they have another entrance over here somewhere. All right, and yep, right over here, this is gonna be another entrance to Star Wars Land once that opens circa 2019. Yeah, you know, we just rode the uh, railroad. We should have just turned around and looked at Star Wars Land while we could, but we'll see it soon enough. Walter Elias Disney, maybe? All right, let's go to Fantasyland. Yay! And something that does not happen at all at Walt Disney World is Frontierland becomes Fantasyland. That's kind of weird to me. Isn't that weird? Only to you. You, you don't think it's weird that Frontierland becomes Fantasyland? I don't know, I mean, we've been here before, I've seen it. But like Magic Kingdom, they're like the farthest lands apart from each other, and here you can just walk from one end to the other. It's odd. <laughs> Got the carousel right here, which we didn't get to ride last time. We should ride this this time if we have the chance. Uh, but we're gonna check out the wait times for Pinocchio's Daring Journey, Snow White's Scary Adventures, I think over here, over here, and the Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. All right, we decided to ride, what? Snow White. Snow White's Scary Adventures. Uh, I'm scared already. Ah, that's terrifying. Did you ever ride this at Disney World? I did when I was little and uh, my parents still make fun of me that it terrified me as a child. I think it terrified everybody though, so I think it was justified. Yeah, they don't find scary adventures for nothing. Yeah. According to my Disneyland watch, you're blurry. Here. What? You're blurry. Oh no. Uh, we have a fast pass for Roger Rabbit over in Toontown at 310. The parade, the Christmas parade, is at 330. Maybe after this we could go like, explore Toontown and then hop on a Roger Rabbit like right at 310 and then go watch the parade. We'll see. Why are you laughing? I thought this is the dumbest ending ever. The dumbest ending? <laughs> I think it's the most abrupt. I don't know about dumb. <laughs>